Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So today we're going to do a fun little Halloween project that would be a great idea you can do with kids or just anybody or you can do it for yourself. It doesn't really matter. It's just a thought. So like always, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. And we're just going to jump right on in and I'm going to tell you what's needed. Alright, let's get to it. Now you're going to need some mini flower pots. The um, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> the terracotta pots. There we go. That's what they're called. Um, you can get them from Walmart or Dollar Tree. I think these came from Dollar Tree. I, if I remember correctly, it was a it was a three pack from Dollar Tree. So you're going to need that, and you can actually do any size you want. I have these. This is why I'm using the little ones. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some ivory paint. It's Waverly chalk paint. And I picked this because I'm going to do a base coat of this for the painting. And then you're going to need some white paint. I'm using Apple Barrel. I'm going to also need black, which again, I'm using Apple Barrel. All three of them are Apple Barrel. And then I'm going to use... You're gonna need orange, and I'm using a spice, my spice carrot out from Apple Barrel. And then you're just gonna need some paint brushes, one to paint with, and the other for the details. So let's jump right on in and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my base coat on both. Now, you do not have to do the exact same thing I'm doing, but if you're doing what I'm doing, you're gonna use the colors I picked, like I said. Um, we're just going to have some fun with this and create a really cute Halloween themed flower pot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell y'all what we're doing. That way you can decide. I am making little characters on it. I've actually done this before. I did a uh, Christmas one and I've done Easter but I'm not doing like those those I just made characters out of this give me a second this I'm actually making flower pots and you could put real flowers in it or you can put fake floral just for decoration or you could put other stuff in it for decoration but I'm gonna do a ghost and a pumpkin but you could do anything you can do cat um, Frankenstein's monster, you know, anything you, you want to do for this. But this is the route I decided to go. So. And I'm going to paint the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the very bottom too. And when it dries, I can go for and do the top part. And the reason why I'm doing the whole thing is, I mean, the bottom's not that big of a deal, but if you don't put flowers in it, if you put other stuff in it and it shows through, you're going to want to paint the inside too. So that's why I'm doing it. So just get a good coat going, completely cover it. And the reason why I'm doing a coat is because I did it before with the white on my, well actually the yellow, not the white, on my um, bunny, I mean my Easter. The orange, the terracotta color shows through. I can't even talk. So, and I don't want it to show through. So, that's why I'm doing it this way. I literally had to go back. I think it'd do a base coat for the bunny. I don't really remember. But I can link the other two videos that I used these in so y'all can get some ideas. And see what I mean because y'all can do it year round. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link the Christmas and the Easter video down below in my description box. So y'all can...
maybe replicate those if y'all think this is cool. I enjoy doing this. I, I think it's just creative and fun. Alright, now we're going to let that dry, and then like I said, I'll go back and I'll paint the, the rim and the inside. Alright y'all, once that's dry, we move on to the next step, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the ghost first because it is white. And then we'll do the pumpkin. So you're going to take and... Then you're going to do a coat of white over the ivory you did so that it sorry so that the ghost takes shape. If I can it. Like I said, you're just doing this to get it the right color. We did the ivory again to cover up all the terracotta so it's not as noticeable and you don't have to do as many layers of the white. That's the word I'm looking for, layers. Now, my favorite white to use is actually Snow White by Waverly, ugh, the Waverly chalk paint, but I'm out of it, so I need to get more so I can use it again. dry and we'll move on to the next step we'll finish painting it actually not next step so let's let that dry all right now the white is painted and drying I'm gonna move on to the orange and see how bad I make a mess on this So I'm going to start on the inside this time. My hair's in my face. So we're just going to do the same thing we did with the white and that's cover up the whole thing again. Now, if you do the orange, you could try without covering up the terracotta and see what you think, but this is how I wanted to do it, so I did. It also, a lot of it also do, do, also has to do with the paint you use. Some of it works better than others to cover. So you can use less and do different. But Apple Barrel seems to need at least more than one coat unless you're doing what I just did with a different color. And I don't mind because I still like Apple Barrel.
Now I've had this orange paint for a while now and it seems to be running now, but it still works. So that's all that matters. Please ignore that. That's my husband texting me. And I'm doing this so I don't have time to answer. I, I feel like he knows when I'm doing this. Because he usually gets me a lot when I'm doing this. We are going to let this dry and see what it looks like and then decide if we're going to do another coat while doing the rim also. Alright, so I finished painting the orange for the pumpkin and I went ahead and did two coats because it just didn't look good to me. So now we're going to move on to the next step and that is painting. the faces on them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hope this comes out looking okay so we're just going to take And I'm using my little detail brush and I'm going to paint the faces. And there's one face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do front and the back. That way, no matter which way you look at it, front or back, you'll see it. See? Well, I got that one a little off in my opinion, but there's my ghost. So now for the face of the pumpkin. Sorry, ignore that. Um, I'm going to just do what I would normally do when doing a pumpkin. I'm going to do little triangle eyes. These are supposed to be fun little creations. Now. If y'all are super into scary, y'all can do scary. And 
than the nose. And then we'll try to do a mouth. I suck at this so bad. I'm working. <laughs> And there's my little pumpkin mouth with a little tooth. I don't know. I might get rid of the tooth. I don't know if I'm feeling it. But that's the plan. You know, just... Make your little pumpkin. Have fun. Try to make it cute. <laughs> we won't talk about this one this one was horrible <laughs> but it's whatever and you can also take and if you're doing a pumpkin you can do green around the top instead of orange just to give your the appearance of the stem okay so we're going to let this stuff dry and then we're going to go on alright y'all so they're dry and I think they are absolutely cute I'm in love with them and if you want that can be a stop but I want to do a little extra this is just a step that I'm gonna do y'all do not have to do and what I'm gonna do is I have some glow-in-the-dark paint I'm gonna take this the yellow and I'm gonna put it over the eyes nose and mouth of the pumpkin and maybe even the ghost I'm not sure I don't think I'm I haven't decided on that and this just a regular glow-in-the-dark I'm gonna put over the ghost so let's jump right in and do that All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm going to do is see why this is doing this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and do my ghost, and I'm going to go around the eyes and the mouth. I get a little bit on it I'm not gonna pick complain too much I just thought this would be a cool little thing see him glow in the dark and like I said this is totally extra this popped in my head and I wanted to do it so I'm gonna do it
I'm going to do the other side too and then I'll switch to a bigger brush. And I'm just trying to carefully go oops, around the spots. I have the black. Now I'm gonna take my big brush. And I'm going to paint the rest. And when I get done, I'll paint the top. Actually, I don't know if I want to do the top. This is something that you got to decide what you feel is right. No, I've decided. Yeah, I'm going to do the top. So once it dries, we're going to move on to the top. Actually, I'm going to just do the top now. And then we'll let that dry. And now we're going to move on to the pumpkin. So now we're going to do the yellow. And hope this comes out looking okay. Because I have ideas and then I go do them and they're like, what was that? <laughs> so now we're just going to take and where we put the black, we're going to put the yellow. Give me one second. Alright. So we're back and now we're gonna do this side. And as you see I redid this because I had it off center. So I repainted this. too far over to the left.
I'm sorry, I gotta concentrate. So, once that dries, I can try it out and see if it does do what I want it to do. Fingers crossed. So that was the next step, the ex first extra. So the next extra that I want to attempt to do is just something, these are just pure embellishments. I thought it'd be really cute to make a little bow. Let me see. I don't know why my brain just wants to give me a hard time making bows. It's like it says, haha, you think you know what you're doing. But I'm going to prove to you, you haven't got a clue. I don't know why my brain wants to be so mean to me. I'm not too worried about any extra because I can always use it on something else. I don't want a huge bow. I just want something small. Oopsie. Alright, so I got my little small bow. And this is purely just. to decorate them. And then you're just going to glue it on there. So I'm going to make four of those. Alright, now we're going to glue these little embellishments onto it. And you're going to do one on each side if you did both sides because you want it to be seen from both sides. Look how cute that is. I think that is so cute, y'all. I am absolutely in love with these. I think they came out super cute. And I can't wait to decorate my house with them. Alright. So you're going to do the same thing with the ghost. But instead of doing it that way, I'm going to do it the flip side. Oops. If I can do it. And look how gorgeous they came out. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to decorate with them. And you have the two 
for the holidays. All right, so I am super happy with this project. I love how it came out. I enjoyed making it. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me make it. And if y'all did, please, 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 please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.